So I'm making pickled eggs. I know I already made one recipe of pickled eggs. That was kind of a sweet version. This one's going to be more of a dill version. So in my pot, by the way, anytime I'm using vinegar, this is a non-reactive pot. So I have three cups of vinegar. I have a mixture in this one, a cup of white vinegar, a cup of red, uh, white wine vinegar, and a cup of apple cider vinegar. I just like the way that taste flavor goes together. You can make any mixture you want. You can use all white vinegar if you want. I'm going to add a cup of water. I'm going to put my garlic cloves in there. That's four garlic cloves, and I'm just going to put some of my jalapenos in there. Sorry, I was out tasting things. I'm running out of breath. What did I do with my spices? Right there. So, I wrote down my measurements so I wouldn't forget. We got a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to go ahead and start this working on coming up to a boil. Sorry. Two bay leaves. What do I have here? Mustard seed, a teaspoon. This turmeric, half a teaspoon. It's going to give it some nice color as well as some good flavor. Got a teaspoon of peppercorns. I use the tricolored peppercorns. You can use all black if you want, doesn't matter. Teaspoon of red pepper flake. Te half a teaspoon of coriander seeds. And this. Scott's going to love this. This is actually some dehydrated ground jalapeno. If you can't find it where you are, just add more jalapeno to the jar. But I'm going to put a teaspoon of it. Okay. I did not get my sugar out. I forgot where I was when we ran out to go chase animals. So we're going to put a third of a cup of sugar. My half cup. I don't know where my third cup is right now. Estimate there. Just give that a quick little stir. We're going to bring that up to a boil. When it comes to a boil, we're going to turn it off and put and let it steep for about five minutes. So now we're going to go back over to this side. We have a half gallon jar. We have a dozen eggs. Actually, it's only 11 because I wasn't paying attention to time and I had to test one to see how much more time I needed. So we're going to throw some sliced gar onion. You can use either a half a small onion, I mean a whole small onion, half of a, a uh, large onion, which is what I did. I'm going to throw some jalapeno, a couple of eggs. So... This is dill from my garden, and I actually wanted some that had seed so I didn't have to measure out more dill seed. So I'm just going to stick that in there. And then a little bit more dill, just regular leaves. So some more jalapeno, some more onions, some more eggs. All in there. Now we're just waiting for that to come to a boil. And then we're going to steep it for five minutes. And we'll be back after that five minutes. Pause. So my brine has came to a boil. I let it set for five minutes. And now I'm just going to pour it right over the eggs. And try not to breathe. If your eggs start floating, just use a little jar or something to hold them down in it to weight them in. I want this to pickle at least two days. I've been told that it tastes best after a week. And that is dill, spicy dill pickled eggs. Y'all have a good day.